Right guys, welcome back to Caldonio, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking on Verona. Now, we'll come to this little page first. Unfortunately, Paul, my Patreon on the channel, I gave him this fantastic youngster and he's been picked up by Roma, 375k. A little bit dis well, I am very disappointed. All these were on youth contracts. They wouldn't sign a deal um, because literally every single Serie A club was after them. So what I've had to do is reject, 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 reject. And then at some point, they just put in a put in an approach and this was all compensation money, um, which is good for the bank because we are bleeding money. But obviously, if we get promoted this year, which looks very likely we are going to do, this money is not going to make much of a difference. Now, into the transfer centre, the Guidi has been chased relentlessly by City A clubs. I've put his asking price up to 30 mil. He's still only 18. Just turned 18 as well. I don't want him going anyway. He's got a pro contract, so that's fine. So, we're kind of just left to De Greedy. Now, have we got any decent prospects left? We didn't get much in terms of last year. I'm hoping we can get some and then some really good players. And then what I'm going to do is straight away, I'm just going to sign them on professional contracts, I think. Which... They can't sign till they're 18, but it's all provisionally put in. I think that potentially stops clubs snapping my players up. Oh, yeah. And it was this guy, but then we managed to ship him out on loan. He's quite good. Remember now, we're looking at City A quality. Because league table, dun, dun, dun. Board expectation, fight bravely against relegation. We are 12 points clear with what? 30, what do we play, 36 games, or 15 games to go. So it is looking very, very likely that we are going to have three consecutive promotions as long as we don't do the absolute ultimate bottle. David, David Marola, 20 goals already in the league. Absolutely flying. Our form since the Kievo game has been pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six wins, three draws, no defeats. We have just been a little bit off it the last few games. It's been very tight, look. The games have been tight, but we're still winning. We had a massive win against Benevito, who were up there. Shane Long scoring for Benevito. So this is kind of the quality that we're up against. them. I know it's Shane Long, but at the same time, Shane Long would probably walk into our team. So we are definitely punching above our weight. What I'm going to do is, if we win today and we really cement our lead, I think we will come back right towards the end of the season, which we should be about promoted. I can't wait to get into City A. So I really want to push on with this now. We'll play today's game. We'll crack on and then we'll come back Benevito and we'll round sort of like the season up. All right, guys. Let's get in to today's game. So nothing much has changed in terms of attacking these sort of like six are picking themselves. The Guidi's unfortunately suspended, so we'll give Maggior a game. A little bit wounded that some of these are wanted. So we could do a deal for him. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. There we go. Kaliba in. Which, considering Bari are chasing him. Where are Bari? So the league below us, he's been absolutely immense for us. He's only 21. Definitely a part of my silly app plans. Anyone else? Well, we've sidetracked a little bit, but see, pe people like Salvamini, uh, Gukunuri, Gabani, 21, we can do better than that, I think. Well, we, we're going to have to do better than that when it comes to City Art. We'll do a bit. I think we might have to blow our transfer budget on David David Marola. We might hopefully get him at a cup price. And Gisa, rather get the, try and get these players in now before we get promoted, because they'll only want more money off us, won't they? Jukic, get all these in for the summer. Kebacola, you know, even though we're going to probably need better players than this, I don't think I cannot sign them on because they've been so good for us. And then we'll try and offload three or four of these so these players essentially might become more backups. That's the plan. I do want to get some sort of like former Italian players in the squad in terms of sort of like 33, 34-year-olds. That's a thing that the Italian clubs like to do. Get a steady head in there. No! No, Gali. Lazio actually offered me a job interview. Um, I think it was only last week. No! 
Brilliant. Didn't go well. He's going, isn't he? He's going. Damn. Thought that always might be the case. I thought if we just get into Serie A, though, can we offer him a new contract? Didn't think of that. Yeah. He's wanting to leave me behind. Bollocks. To be fair, I haven't used him a great deal. Um, he has recommended a few players, so we'll, we'll try and get in maybe an ex, an ex Italian. Try and get in an ex Italian footballer, I think. Galley's gone. Eee oh dear, we did get 500k for him, so that's pretty sweet. So that's another position that's going to need redoing in the summer. Obviously easy once we get into the top division. Right, here we go. Verona manager, Andre Villas-Boas. Fall from grace. Not as much as a fall from grace from this guy. Perugia's manager, Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry mixing it in Serie B. Right, here we go. They are 16th, and obviously they've got one of the higher budgets in the league. If not the highest. I think they might have the highest. I've got Alberto Selly. I'm going to track him. Because when it comes to new season. Serie A. Keep saying Serie A even though we're not even there yet. Alberto Serri in the squad would be a nice one. Little one it. Be a nice little one. I think we might have to raid some of these Serie B clubs. Here we go. First real highlight of the game. Kaliba's underneath it. Hopefully he'll get that deal signed. Jukic the right back. Signed it. His deal as well. Colly Kebra signed his deal. So they'll be permanent in the summer, which is brilliant. And Gissa, another one that we hope to get snapped up. Colly Kebra to Berezotti into Ngissa. Wallop. Lamas with a free kick. Ooh, just over. I thought Serie B would have been too much of a step up. I am starting to worry that Serie A will be definitely too much of a step up. Bearing in mind that we've got the lowest budget. In Serie B, and then for us to jump into Serie A, aye aye aye. I will raid these. They've got some big clubs, Benevito. Um, obviously, the teams that get relegated from Serie A, teams like Verona, Perugia, who've got big clubs, big budgets, Kievo, and try and get some of their better players to come and play for us. That will be the plan. Try and get maybe a couple of quality loans in from a, maybe even across Europe. That could be a plan. Maggiore. Tatamaj, Bezotti, Jokic, nice football. We've got loads of men in the box there. Cleared. Still got it. Colly Keber off the bar. Praise that though, enjoyed that. Enjoyed that little sequence. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm always thinking ahead. Hopefully it'll be a little busy. We did struggle to recruit this summer and we had to sort of like settle for players. But to be fair, <clears throat> the players that we've kept hold of have done really well. Oh, there he is. There he is. Let's unleash Fabro. Leave Colly Kebra on because he's, he's got a knack of scoring big goals for us. Come on. Here we go. Jukic. Megori. He's blocked. Hetamaj. Megori. Play it. Bezotti. We've got five bodies in the box. Can we pick one out? And Gissa. It was just a little bit too high for him. Couldn't get it down. And we're coming to the end of the game. Are we going to get one more? We are going to get one more highlight. We've got it. Crocetini. Jukic. Come on, Fabro. Bezotti. Here he is, Fabro. Big. Engissa. We've done it. We've done it. 93rd minute. What an assist from Engissa. Sorry, uh, Berezotti. And a great header from Engissa. 2 1. Into the last minute of stoppage time. And that is going to be that, isn't it? Hetamaj is going to take a free kick. It's half cleared. And we've done it. We have done it. Even though they're down in 16th, they still have... They've even got Roberto Insigne, look. He's not bad, is he? Not bad at all. There we are. Another win chalked off. I think by the time we play Benevito, we'll be about promoted. I think. They've won 3-0, though. Oh, this is him. This is the guy that I want. I've been trying to think of his name. I had him. Oh, no, it's not him. I had him and someone else at Milan. And he was half Italian, half Peruvian. He's a striker. Anyone can let me know. He's Italian slash Peruvian. I don't think... He would have played for Peru. I was just checking because he is half, he is half Peruvian. 
someone let me know in the comments. He played for Milan. I don't think he played many games. He, he kind of did this where he Milan signed him and then basically didn't play him. Oh, God. He's a centre forward. He would be probably a target man, I would have thought. I had these two up front for me for a, for a while when I first took over in uh, AC Milan when I did an Italian only save. And both of them were class. I can't think who it is. So let, if you know who I'm talking about, let me know in the comments. Muchly appreciated. Right, that's it. 15 points clear of Foggia. I've got them to play. So we still got Chievo, Cremonese, Benevito, Foggia, Pescara, Empoli to play. Big games. So we're coming around the Bene Benevito game. Hopefully by then, bearing in mind we're sort of like going to be 12 points clear. Hopefully we don't lose much ground. Right, guys, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And, yeah, let me know how you're finding this series. I have got a few people that are watching it. Not as many as the other, but I am really enjoying this little journey. Hopefully, we'll be Serie A club after just three seasons in the game. So that will really push the series on, really push the squad on, and in terms of what money we get in. Because finances-wise, we are hemorrhaging a little bit. We're losing a little. Obviously, we've said we've had nearly two million pounds in transfers coming in. They're gonna to have to give us a bit of a bigger budget than that, aren't they? Next season, we're gonna need some more sponsorship in as well, by the looks of it. But anyway, I think this. I think, I'm sure the Italian clubs get like fifty million, fifty million a season for just being in the league for TV money. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week. See you later.